Hey guys. Okay, so we are gonna show you, or not we, me, my final look. I'm finally done my hair process that took me, I don't know, I think it took like three days, maybe four. And why can't I get the lighting that I want? This is kind of important because I actually really did work on this to an extreme. So, we shall try that. No. Okay, it's not going to work. So, anyway, uh, this is my final result. What do you guys think? So, what we did was the bangs, um, the roots went from black to brown, um, layers all cut so that they're nice and clean and um, not dead ends. Then, we cut the entire length also but not that much so that we still have length and I'll insert a picture from just now of the um back um but I can show you guys too but um so this is yeah this is the final look let's see the back I don't know like I won't be able to see what you guys are seeing but I curled it um it was naturally curly like right here and then the sides were just um straight and it looks ridiculous so I did curl the back so what do you guys think of my little hair project um I don't know I think it turned out pretty good considering I'm not a hairdresser and that um it's long it's really long and it's damaged so I had a lot to work with. Um, as you can see, these little bang things are what I was talking about. And I just kind of blended them in with the rest of my hair. Because um, they're a lot shorter now, I'm not used to it. Here is the actual um, color of the majority of the hair. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with lighting and everything because I always go here to film um but yeah that's unfortunate uh so maybe it's turning out better for you guys I mean I don't really have the best uh vision so I just wanted to come on here and show you guys what I did after getting more like dressed like I'm in uh <laughs> actual nicer clothes makeup done and hair done not just lying on the couch stick. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the blonde instead of the blue, which I've had for a while now, but I did a touch up of it. And do you guys like the brown instead of the black? And the length? And how did I do the layers? That was really, um, I can hear Brian in the background. Alright, so I'm going to go to the container store. Um, today's Natalie's day again. So, we are going to the container store. Um, I don't know if everyone has one. I mean, in New Jersey, it, it's a popular thing. But, um, it's just all containers. It's a store filled with every kind of container. I'll try to bring this along and throw in a clip. Uh, if I remember. I'm normally pretty good at that. So, I'll definitely try. Because it's like one of the coolest stores I've ever been to. Uh, we're going with my mother, and, uh, Bri's coming, but Tiny and Freddie can't, so, uh, she's picking us up right now, um, just because it makes more sense to go in one car, and she likes to be the driver or whatever, so, I get off from it, um, and here you go, here's a good shot. It looks a little, like, uh, stiff and dead right now, and that's not because it is, it's just, like, over hair sprayed a little bit. Because I like the curls so much, and I know that I'm going out, and it's harder to, um, keep, because it's, like, windy today or something. I don't even know. Alright, so, gotta go. Let me know what you think of the overall hair. Three to four days worth. Do you want me to do your hair? You guys, just comment below. I'm sure you don't. I wouldn't. I used to do my dad's hair when I was a kid for fun. He was like the only person I think has ever let me near his hair with scissors. 
Yeah, I do the dog's hair, and I do my hair. I mean, I cut all this. I don't have extensions, so... Okay, guys. We'll be back. I hope I'll get some clips for you of the container store. Okay guys, we are at the container store. This is what I'm getting so far. So it's a salt and pepper shaker, only I'm going to use it for my um, rice seasoning. So I have a big bulky thing next to us. There's music playing here, but I'm going to try to give you a little tour. It's one of the coolest stores ever. But I gotta watch out for copyright. They have these little front things with all like little cute things like um like okay, there's a potato chip thing. They have are you going around or not gonna hey, go? <laughs> They're still playing music. So this is very difficult. And might have to cut out um my words. Alright guys, here is dog stuff. Oh, is that a dog bed maybe? Yeah. Oh, there's one up there with a bone. Here's some drawers. Don't want to get copyrighted. I like these. Gel pen. What? Why is it like um special? Isn't it a regular pen? Yeah. Okay. I would like to go a little desk. A little lamp. I like these. Oh, that's perfect with brushes. Look at that. Yeah. Dog and cat in a box. Books pouch. Paper mate. Dog sticky notes. There's everything you can imagine. Sticky notes. Beta pens, highlighters, office accessory kit. Don't want copyright, especially in a horrible song like this. You see it. Oh, look at that cart. Yeah. Organizer tray. It's little. They have all sizes. Oh, I want... I need another folder or something. I want something like this, but I don't know. And they got more here. Look at all these. 
I can see your red, um... Where's that dot? Yeah, I'm trying to chase it with mine. I'm about to run out of tape again. I can't believe I had to... Okay, so I found a baseball display cube and hockey and golf ball. But I would use it for something else. A uh, display case, that's it. It's cute. Alright guys, so we found something for meds. We found a 44, a 24, and then here's smaller ones. I also found these little individual ones. This is a good aisle for this stuff. Craft and hobby. What, a garbage can? Yeah, that's one. I like that one. For what? For our kitchen? What's wrong with the one I picked out? I think I sell it too fast. I got it at Walmart about 15 years ago. Okay, so I don't really like garbage cans, like I don't really care, but check out this. I want this one to put our recycling in. Fourteen ninety nine for the six gallon, twelve gallon, twenty five. Guys, I'm almost out of tape. I already deleted one video. Well, actually, three. I'm not deleting any more of my videos. So, I won't show you much more. But, um, we found the makeup and bathroom, like, soap stuff. And we found, like, this vintage one. Check this out. My grandma used to have it. That's what I have. Okay, so not the best day today. Um, my poor dog is in not great shape. She did something and she, her left back leg is not working, so she is uh, lip limping and she also had a bump on her back and was rolling around like on the bed like dogs do. It, broke open, it's been bleeding and now it's infected, um, 
she also has had a stomach ache for the last couple days and can't eat and is having some issues with the bathroom. It's really a mess. So she's going to the vet tonight, 745. I got her appointment. Um, we're supposed to go for a little ride to meet somebody that, um, was gonna, that owed money and we were going to use it towards the vet and then we were going to go to my parents and do some work for them. So I don't know if any of that's going to happen because we're super late and Brian's sleeping and I don't know, I'm, I'm so stressed. Honestly, like I'll deal with the money situation. I'll, like, I don't care what I have to give up. I will deal with the money situation and anything for my baby. It's just um, not really going quite the way that it was supposed to go. And I think it's super late. Yeah, it's 2.12. He just fell into the sink. Of course. Of course that would happen to me. With toothpaste. Of course. Why wouldn't it? I don't know, like... This has just not been my day. At all. He's great. He just smells very toothpastey. Gonna try to go. Um, let's see. I don't even have a place to put you guys anymore because I don't have any upstairs stage. So she's still downstairs. Oh, that's a beautiful view of my toilet. I apologize. Um, the one is clean. I threw <laughs> tissue in there. Oh, what a bad day already. So, um, wish us luck. I don't know how we're gonna get through all this, but no matter what, I'll be going to the vet, and everyone wish us luck for Freddy, because he's my baby. Bye. So, we're finally done our ride. We hit shore traffic when we weren't even going to the shore and got Freddy finally. I brought her over to my parents and now Bry's doing work for them outside. Here's Bry. And we're waiting and then go to the vet. Oh, here's my gun. Okay guys, I'm pulling you away from my video because I want to show you these wonderful shirts that I made. This is Freddy on it and here's Freddy right now running away trying not to be in the camera even though she loves being in the camera but I'm gonna put the link down below so you know where you can buy this shirt and it doesn't have to be a shirt get like a mug or a water bottle a bag um a whole outfit baby outfit um like a hat or like uh one of those like beanies um pretty much anything you want you can get and I have this right here plus many others so check out my site down below thanks guys Freddy are you at the doctor? you're so brave look at you you're so brave I love you Freddy you got a boo boo yeah you got a boo boo you're such a good girl
Alright, so I'm gonna give her her um regular antibiotic. Um, I almost done it and I'm gonna give her a pain med. I think it's like a motion really when it comes down to it, but uh and I don't know how that so maybe that coffee in her dish, seriously. And I'll put it in some peanut butter. So she's one of the best dogs I've had for taking medicine. So this is her pain pill. I just put it in peanut butter. Here, you want goodie? It's a pain pill. And then I'll do the same thing with her antibiotic. And then I have her just lick the peanut butter because I want to make sure she swallows it and doesn't spit out the pill. She's never done that, but my other dogs have, so. And it's really important that she gets her antibiotic and definitely now needs the pain pill considering what happened. All she was doing was walking up the steps. She wanted to greet my dad. He gave her a rawhide, and when she was done getting out of the CAR, she, um ran too fast and all of a sudden we start her limping so now we have that issue here you want more peanut butter you really like peanut butter don't you so we do have a special tonight for dinner oh sweetie stop walking let the medicine work and relax for a minute you gotta lie down so, for dinner tonight, we're getting kibbles and bits like we always do. But, we have a surprise, Freddy! Dinner! We're gonna get a little bit of Alpo! Chopped house, extra gravy, of course. So, what I do is, I just... It's actually really gross looking, but, um... So, yeah. I'm just going to put all that in there, and then I'm going to put her medicine and her kibble in with it. Freddy, sit down and wait a second here, right? It's almost ready. So, she's on three meds. One, like I said, the one was the, her antibiotic um, for the infection. The other one was a pain med. I guess it'd be like a Motrin for us somewhat. Um, for the pain for her uh, back leg. And then last one is she's been having stomach issues. So I put one of these, um, it's the Pro Plan, uh, it's like a supplement, uh, for dogs, and I put one of these packets, I'm gonna put it over the gravy. Okay, don't worry, I'm not giving her coffee, but I used the Dunkin' Cup, because somebody took my other cup, put some kibble in it. This is the medicine on top of the, um, gravy, and now I'm gonna put the kibble on top of that. So it's like, like a cake, layers. But you have to get it like all over, otherwise she's gonna, um, be able to figure it out. So now I'm gonna do more of the gravy. Okay, so the rest just goes back in the fridge. I just put, um, one of these caps on it. Obviously the lid's gone. Um, oh, and we cleaned our refrigerator finally. Ryan did this actually. Looks nice, doesn't it? 